let's go into some of the other specific structural and growth related uh, plant mechanisms. So we're looking at some special modifications of root stems and leaves. If you've heard of a potato or a carrot or an onion, these are all special modifications of this stuff. So it's not too hard. There's a bulb. Uh, a bulb is basically, an onion is a perfect example. It's a stem that grows underground and has modified thick stacked leaves to store food. Um, not much to say about that, but next time you eat that, think about that. You're actually eating a stem. That is not a fruit. It's not a fruit. Um, potatoes. This is really sad. A plant, uh, a potato plant works so hard doing photosynthesis, uh, producing glucose, taking in all kinds of water and nutrients and carbon dioxide from the air. It creates all this glucose and stores it as starch and actually hides it in these underground stems, basically. They're modified stems for, for uh, food storage. It's called a, a tuber. And so you can see that. And it hides all this underground and to keep energy storage for itself, for surviving cold weather in the winters and stuff like that and what do we do we go and we rip them out and then steal all of the stuff that they've been working so hard to make but i do love french fries storage roots a carrot is an example of a modified root so you just be able to tell the difference are we talking about special stems that are being modified like the case in the onion and the case for a um, actual potato or are we talking about the roots that are being modified, which is the case for a carrot. And then there's us also things called tendrils. These are really cool. Again, go back and watch the uh, documentary by David Attenborough, The Private Life of Plants, and you're gonna see, because what they, they just, they speed up camera footage basically into something that would make it uh, very scary if plants were actually moving and growing this fast. So there's specialized stems slash leaves which can attach to something and they actually respond to pressure when it goes up against a wall and so it can actually wrap around things vines growing up on on walls or moving through to moving through uh, shrubbery to actually seek out light and nutrients uh, very very cool stuff you never thought a plant could be able to do but um, please please respect the plants Meristematic tissue, we mentioned in one of the previous videos. So when you think meristems, think of this as stem cells, basically, stem cells. Meristems are just a specific type of stem cell that can help to increase the size of a plant, either growing straight up or straight down or sideways, laterally. So uh, at, the tip, at the tip of the actual a shoot and at the tip of the roots are something called apical meristems and a apical is from the word apex meaning tip and so you that's how the shoot actually continues to grow up and then from the shoot you can also produce the leaves and various flowers that are coming out these organs these leaves are growing out um, from the actual uh, apex so there's apical meristem there's cells that are constantly dividing here and then uh, contributing to growth and same thing is true for the roots that's apical meristem plants can also grow wider that's what lateral means and so they also have lateral meristematic tissue that allows for these roots and stems to grow wider and uh, that can be found uh, near the xylem and the phloem tissue and something called cambium and it's basically why tree trunks are going to be able to get thicker so two types of stem tissue uh, meristematic tissue specifically apical and lateral uh, lateral means helping the plant to grow thicker and apical means growing taller and uh, longer in terms of sending the roots down into the soil one more cool thing and you've seen all kinds of experiments like this including experiments like this that have been done in outer space which is really neat but this is a nice experiment that you can set up very easily here with a, a light source coming from an unpredictable direction or from the side for example and you'll notice that the actual uh, tip of the stem will actually start growing towards the light. So if you put this in a dark cupboard and just have a lamp at the side, you will notice that the stem actually starts growing towards the light, which is really cool. It's like they can detect the light, actually. But there is a hormone. Plants have hormones, and we're going to see like three or four of them when we talk about, when we learn about some of the additional plant uh, structure and function topics. So auxin is the name of one type of uh, hormone, and it is a growth promoter, and it, that's what's allowing this plant to actually grow over here. How it actually works is very, very interesting. 
So the oxygen actually starts accumulating on the side where the light is not coming from. So if light's coming from the side here, the oxygen's actually accumulating here. And really briefly, what it actually does is the oxygen actually causes proton or, or hydrogen ion secretion, they're called protons, into the cell walls. And what it does is it makes the cell walls um, weaker in a sense. And so when the plant, as the cells are actually growing, normally there's some, there's like a force from the strength of the cellulose fibers there that's actually keeping it to a small size. But with when you have these uh, protons present here, it actually weakens the connections between the cellulose fibers and it allows this these cells to actually stretch out a little bit more. So if the cells on this side, the side facing the light and the side away from the light are growing uh, at different rates. So these ones are more hindered by regular cellulose and these ones are allowed to stretch out a little bit more because the cellulose connections are weaker, then this side is gonna end up stretching more, this side not so much, and so that actually is gonna cause the shoot to turn. Really, really cool, really, really interesting. And if you switch the light source to the other side, well, it's gonna start growing. You gotta give it some time, but it'll start growing back towards this direction. And in that case, you can predict which side the auxin is going to be, the auxin hormone molecules are going to be accumulating. Really neat. So this is an example of a tropism. And in this case, it's a phototropism. So photo meaning light. Tropism is showing a particular direction of, of growth or response. So phototropism, um, stems are growing towards the light and then the oxen redistributing to the dark side. Well, that sounds some, like something out of Star Wars. That's a great idea for a future lesson, turning this lesson into something about the dark side. All right, so that's basically it. Oxen and their role as hormones in helping plants to grow towards light. That's an example of phototropism. So there were a few things uh, we just went through about plant growth.